Do you find yourself in various locations where you don't have an internet connection, whether that be a holiday home, a pop-up shop, or anywhere else where you might be remote? Well, this might be the product for you. This is D-Link's 4G Smart Router. Hi everyone, my name's Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. Before we jump into the tech specs, let's go ahead and have a look at what comes inside this box. This is the D-Link Wi-Fi 6 4G router and it's the AX1500 4G Smart Router. So let's go ahead and look inside. You get the D-Link router itself, which is reasonable in size. We'll have a closer look at that in a second. You have a quick start guide, product warranty, and code statement. Also inside the box, you get yourself a power cable, ethernet cable, a SIM card adapter. Now, depending on what kind of size SIM card you have, you can use the various ones to make sure it fits. And we have some antennas that come with as well. Taking a closer look at the router itself, you can see there's various lights on the front. So you have power, internet, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, LTE, 3G, SMS, and you have a signal bar just here. At the bottom, you have the SSID and password and how to actually get to the settings to log into the device as well. And on the back, we have the two antenna ports. Now these are, don't get them wrong, they're not your Wi-Fi signal antennas, they're to pick up the 4G signal. So you can make sure you get the most out of this. And then on the back, you have an internet failover, uh, port one, two, and three, and then power. Just on this side, you have a WLAN port and a WPS reset. And on this side, you have a SIM card slot, which goes just here. So if we take the sticker off, you can see the SIM card goes in just here. And finally, the last thing, there's an on and off switch just here. So let's go ahead and put this together. So first, let's get the antennas installed and they just literally screw into here like so. And that's two. And then we have the power cable. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And we go ahead and press the power button just here. And then you see the power light come on just on the front as well. So we'll leave that one second. So if I show you this quickly, you need a full size SIM card for it to go in. And I only have a micro SIM card. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and pop this middle one out. Once you pop that out, you can pop another SIM card in just like so. And then simple enough, what you do is you just go ahead and pop your SIM card into the side just here. And then you push that in. That has now installed. We'll give that a couple of minutes to see if we can get an internet connection on here. If not, we're gonna log straight in and see what we can see on the router itself. So now we're gonna take a look at the app. Now what you need to do is inside the instructions, there's a QR code that you can scan to download the app. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I just wanna quickly show you before we jump into the app that we've restarted the router and we have connection now. So LTE 3G and we have full signal by the looks of it. And then going back to the app, we're just gonna install a new device. You need to scan it. So that is just here. And there you go, it's saying what you're picking up. So mobile cellular internet, click next. Insert your SIM card, power it on. Well, we've done all of that. We click next, and then we wanna click join. And then we go on to create the network. So you give yourself an SSID, and you can go ahead and give yourself a password and click next. And then to protect the device, we'll give the device a password. So I'll quickly set that, click next. And then finally, we're gonna give the device a name. So I'll click next. So there you go, it's giving you all the details on there. And we click save. And then it's gonna go ahead and add it to your D-Link cloud account. So with this, you'll be able to access it remotely and do any configurations that you need to. So let's leave this, let it get set up. We'll wait for the device to update and then we'll come back and have a look at the settings inside the router. So here in front, we have the app. Once we're in there, you can see the 4G router is connected and it shows how many clients are on there. And there's a few quick buttons at the top here. So we can go Wi-Fi and it will share your Wi-Fi key. Or if you want to set up a guest network, you can do that here. So the AI assistant, so any messages will pop up on here. If there's anything they can do to improve your network, security, etc., etc., that will pop up here. And then we have an internet speed. So we can quickly click agree, start the test. So keep in mind, I am currently inside my house, so there is obstacles in the way when you are outside or if you're out in the open world and you need to connect this up, this is great. So I'm getting 53 megabits per second download speed and 12 megabits per second upload speed, which is fairly good for a 4G router. I've had some where you barely get anything out of them. So the speed on this actually is really good. There are some additional settings further down below. So you have some parental control settings. I won't go too much into them, but you can go ahead and set up some profiles if you wish. There's client priorities, so if you want to enable the traffic optimizer, you can do. There's a health mode, which shows you the internet on and off, and if you want to block bedtime access, so great for if you have kids around with you and you want to block anything. 
And then also if you click on the router itself, you can see on here that you get the details of it. So 4G router, what the IP is, the version, where you are, what the model number is. And there's a load of settings down here also as well. So your internet settings, SIM protection, mobile information and data usage. So you can also, if you do have any cap on your data, you can go ahead and pop that on here. So you don't have any worries about running over on your data. Now I showed you earlier that there is a second internet connection on the back of it, so you can hardwire something in. Sometimes in some places your 4G connection is better than the internet connection that you can get into your property. So you can use the dual WAN functionality to have a failover. Uh, so if your 4G signal for whatever fails, or if your internet signal fails for whatever reason, you can go ahead and switch over to the various connections. This is really easy and simple to get set up and out of the box. And it is just a case of plugging it in, putting your SIM card in, and a couple of seconds later, go run through the wizard and you're set up and ready to go. I was quite impressed with the speeds that you do get out of it, considering I am inside a house, I would be intrigued to see if I took this outside, if I was to get anything a little bit better. You have really good options in terms of the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz options, so you can use both of those bandwidths depending on the type of device you have. And overall, I'm generally impressed with this device. It's something that I would definitely use when I'm on the go. I do have a good internet connection at home, so it's not something I could utilize here. The link to the product is down in the description below if you wanna check it out. If you have any further questions, again, do drop me a comment down below and I'll try and respond to them as quick as I can. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.